Okay, in this video from firealarmsonline.com, we're going to be covering the how to bend a three bend saddle with, uh, we're going to be using half inch EMT. Three bend saddles are a clean way to get over a perpendicular object such as a sprinkler pipe or another conduit running perpendicular to your run. You're going to want to get your distance between the starting point and the object you're going to be offsetting over. We're at 60 inches. And you also want to get the height of the object you're offsetting over, which is 2 inches. So with that said, the 2 inch height gives us a shrink factor of 3 eighths of an inch from our starting point. So we're going to add 3 eighths of an inch from this point to the starting point of the object we're getting over. So we'll make our first mark at 60 and 3 eighths. I've already got my mark made here. And then also with a 2 inch height offset here, the factor is 5 inches added to each side of that center point. So you'll have, from the center point here, you'll have 5 inches here and 5 inches here. Your first mark using the notch on the bender head will be at 45 degrees and your outside marks will be at 22 and a half degrees using the arrow of the bender. That's important. So the center one uses the notch and the outside will use the arrow on the bender head. You're going to want to bend the first one up using the notch at 45 and then you're going to keep the conduit in the same direction, slide it, and bend the first 22 in the opposite direction of the 45. And then you're going to take the conduit out of the bender, flip it around, and bend the other 22 and a half with the arrow here. So you'll have a nice 22 degree bend coming up. The 45 is the, the hump or the hill to get over the object, and then another 22 and a half to uh, flatten it out and carry on to the next junction point. So let's give it a shot. So coming from the center point, remember to use the notch. We'll bend this up 45 degrees. It's important to get this one right because this is basically, like we said earlier, the hump to get over everything. So make sure that's right at 45. And then you're going to want to keep the conduit going the same direction. So you basically just flip everything up here, flip the conduit around, but facing the same direction. And using the arrow for the second mark on the bender, go to 22 and a half degrees. Now my level doesn't have a 22 and a half degree uh, bubble on it, so I'll be using the bender marks here on the side. So as you can see already, we've got our 45 here, and then our 22 coming this way. So now, you're going to want to pull the conduit out, and flip it around, and bend your next mark at the arrow, making sure everything's lined up again, straight down this way, down to 22 and a half again. So what you can see is, this round, it might have been a little too much on the first one, but you've got a nice clean, oh, my mark moved here, but a nice clean three bend cell to get up and over an object, just to show you, make sure we're still at 60 inches, which we are, 60 inches right here. So as you can see, it's a pretty easy maneuver to get from a starting point uh, and up and over something, and it keeps it pretty clean. And it's not too bad to do. Just remember, the first mark is at 45 on the notch, and the outside marks are at 22 and a half using the arrow. All these factors for the different offset heights can be found online at firealarmsonline.com. Be sure to check it out for future videos.